Hey, yes, yes, we are here to rescue you. Your exams are coming up and you don't know how to keep a track of time. Watch this video till the end and find out what are some things that you should have a practice on from the timetable we are going to give you today. Before diving in, you must also remember that not only the timing is important for your study session, but the place, the mood of how you study and of course, pressing that bell icon for the latest updates from your favorite channel is extremely important. Did you hit the bell icon yet? Okay, let's get started. Morning Routine your morning schedule should be starting from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Start your fresh morning at 6. Get up, tidy your bed as soon as you get up, brush your teeth and fresh up. After you have finished doing all this, take some time to exercise. Just a small warm-up session in your room. This will help you in allowing your blood flow be better and hence you will start getting ready for your study session by being focused. Start by study session at 7. Take a subject that you're weak at, a subject that you find difficult. Why? Because the early morning mind is fresh and easily adaptable to learn new topics. Hence, don't miss this opportunity to study some difficult topics. Break at 9 am. By this time, you should be having a healthy breakfast, something that has walnuts or almonds in it, since this will be your memory boosting intake. Make sure while you're taking a break, you're doing something productive like solving some puzzles or sudoku or even some riddles. By doing this, you're helping your mind to exercise and this will be a benefit once you start studying again. 9.30 Around 9.30, go for some math solving subjects till 11.30. But remember that you also need to take some breaks of about 5 to 7 minutes in between. This will again help you to feel more active and less bored. Afternoon Routine 12 pm. Have your lunch by this time and make sure you don't delay this time since having something to eat will help you to concentrate better. Find out what are some food items that can boost your memory too. 12.30 pm. Always remember to have a power nap. Having power naps are extremely beneficial and some of the benefits include enhanced memory, improved cognitive performance and stronger logical reasoning. 1.30 pm. By this time you should wake up and once again start something like solving some math sums or even studying science. Since this time you would have more intense focus, make sure you use this time well. You could also solve some previous year's question papers as well and get an idea of what is expected to come in your exams and get this practiced for about two and a half hour. Your evening routine. By 4 o'clock, by 4 o'clock, you can take small break of about 15 minutes and make sure you have some refreshments, have some tea or chew on some healthy snacks. 4.30 pm, you can now start revising your easy subjects since this is the time where you would feel much lighter. 6.30 pm, you can go outdoors and have a fresh nature walk. Why a nature walk? Because according to researchers, taking a nature walk can help you release stress and make your mood better. 7.30 pm. Since your board exams are approaching, it is a must that you need to have a good practice on your writing skills and on your writing speed. Hence, try practicing during this time. 8.30 pm. Make sure you read something during this time. Since along with writing skills, you must also have good practice with your knowledge of English words to improve your reading skills. 9.30 pm. You should have your dinner by this time. Make sure you have your dinner on time since any delay in your dinner time will be a delay in your sleeping time. Hence, your body clock will again change. Therefore, have dinner at the right time that is at 9.30 pm. 10 pm Bedtime So, as you might have noticed that throughout the video, I did not mention any gadget, nor phone, nor a laptop or a computer. See, when you focus the most, that's when you need to make sure that you keep all your distractions away and one of the most distracting things is your gadget. Watch how you can avoid this distraction from this video. Bonus tip! Let's talk about the timing. Always go for a time that you feel most refreshed and energetic and make sure you study at a place where there is less chaos. By less chaos, I mean having a clear desk before you start studying. Don't believe me? Well, research has also proven that the effects of clutter in your home or your study table allows your mind to procrastinate more and makes you feel less focused. Dedicate a few of your days only on this pattern. 
This will become your routine and this routine will help you in not only focusing better but will also help you to score way better marks in the exam since you will be disciplined and become a topper. Thank you.